Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI, and this is a gentleman born in 1949, had ulnar sided discomfort, some fullness, it felt like a palpable abnormality in the ulnar side of the wrist, they weren't sure if it was soft tissue mass. Their pain wasn't really all that bad, but they did an arthrogram here, and they can see, uh, we could see the distal radius, this is the ulna, and these are the proximal carpal bones here, the scaphoid, lunate, trochetral bone, and on this view you can see a few things, so to start off, usually do the midline cut here and look at the ulna to see is the ulna a little bit proximal to the distal radius. If it's a little bit proximal, that's a neutral variance. If it's really super far proximal, it's a, it's a negative ulnar variance. And if it's at or even past the distal radius, it's a, it's a ulnar positive variance. And so this is right at it, so this is a little bit too far. Normally, again, the ulna is a little bit shorter. And since it's shorter, the triangular fiber cartilage can go over the top of it and uh, in a straight line, but here, uh, since the ulna is too far distal, we call it ulnar positive variance, and this can predispose to tears of the triangular fiber cartilage, and that's exactly what this patient has. There's a big hole right in the central part of the TFCC here. This is a T1 weighted sequence. We can see everything white here is contrast because it's T1 weighted sequence. We see the contrast here, and we can see right in here, instead of seeing a nice black band of TFCC, we see the central disc, the central portion is completely gone. There's fluid there, and we see fluid going down the contrast into the distal radial ulnar joint. If we roll off dorsally and along the palmar aspect, we see here part of the palmar band right here. It looks lax instead of being straight. And then here's that big hole in the central disc. I think there's a tear, the central disc that goes into part of the palmar band. Also, if we go to the dorsal band over here, it's thin and irregular. Normally, on this view, you see a thicker band coming across here, but instead, it's uh, thinned and irregular, so it's a, a large tear, involves the entire central disc, goes into the dorsal band here and into the palmar band, and also the TFCC has several other attachments. One of the attachments um, is right over here, this part of the ulna where it's cupped. This is called the fovea, and we should see a, a part of this coming down attaching to the uh, the fovea, but the foveal attachment, you can see some fibers attaching here, but I don't see them attaching to the remainder of the TFCC, so there's a tear of the foveal attachment. Also, it attaches to the styloid process right here, and we see this piece of it coming across, and then there's no attachment. It's elevated, contrast is going in between here, so they have a tear of the, the styloid attachment and the foveal attachment and the central disc and the dorsal and volar bands. There's a couple other attachments that go to the carpal bones here that, that I don't see, so those are torn. Also, the TFCC attaches to this thing here. This is the extensor carpi ulnaris tendon. It has a tendon sheath, and part of this goes over that, the tendon sheath as well. So it looks like the ECU tendon sheath is also uh, torn, and there we see this contrast leaking out through the joint capsule and torn ECU tendon sheath. Some of the contrast even comes up here around the distal part of this ECU. Again, so this is the extensor carpal ulnaris tendon. Comes up here, attaches distally here on the base of the fifth, and we'll see on the axial image just a little bit of fluid over the top of that. Now, so again, a large extensive tear involving all parts of the, EC, uh, of the triangular fiber cartilage. And you really don't have to worry about um, the description as much as I used to think. Um, when they get in there to look, they have a really hard time seeing what's going on at all. So if you can see a tear anywhere or think there's a tear, it's good to mention that. And then when they get in there and look, they can uh, see. But um, to go into gory detail about every component is not all that helpful because they really can't see that that well. So that takes the pressure off the radiologist a little bit. I'm going to put up a an axial view here to show you this. But before that, I just want to show you one more thing. The scaphalunate ligament. So this is the scaphoid bone lunate bone, and right here you see that fluid filled gap. This is the scaphalunate ligament is completely torn, and we see contrast going up through that into the mid carpal compartment here. And over here is the lunato trichetral ligament, and we see some gray thing here. I don't see this widen, so I think that that one is okay, but there's a tear of the scaphalunate ligament, and again, a large complex tear throughout almost all of the triangular fiber cartilage here. So this is an axial view. This is the ulnar styloid right here. This is the extensor carpal ulnaris tendon. And um, if we come down here, the ECU tendon sheath goes around the top here, part of the triangular fiber cartilage. It's really hard to see, but there's a gray signal here. This is where the ECU tendon sheath would go across. So this is torn. And if we go more distal, let me go more distal here, we see this little fluid collection, a little bit of contrast, which is superficial. So this is extravasated through the ulnar joint capsule. 
if we keep going more and more distal, we get to the attachment here. So this is right at the bony attachment, base of the fifth. If we come proximal, we see this contrast collection around it. So this is what the customer or the patient was feeling right here. It was the contrast or fluid that had gone into the uh, distal ulna surrounding that ECU uh, tendon here distally. So that is it, a complex case of a bad tear of the TFCC, a torn scaphoid ligament, and this funny collection of contrasts that distends the ECU tendon sheath and causing a palpable abnormality. Thank you very much.